Phil Moss. Been the assistant under Graham Arnold for three years. It's a terrific opportunity for him. Uh, what's been said in the dressing room so far? Um, not much, really. It's um, just a transition from our great coach Arnie, who you know leaves a great legacy here. And um, you know we we did have a little chat between the boys yesterday, saying that you know given the bye this weekend, we can reflect on what Arnie's done, not for only us, but for the players that left the club and for the club in general. You know he's um, won us a premiership. A championship, um, 50 points three years in a row. It's uh, a great legacy he leaves here, but you know we need to move on now. And um, Mossy's been under Arnie for three and a half years, so you know I think that you know we're going to be in a little bit of transition at the start, but I think we're in good hands. What did Arnie say to the players on Wednesday? Nothing. We haven't spoke to him yet. It's um, you know he it was pretty quick. He went over to Japan pretty quick. He's um, you know he's always been honest with us and upfront. Um, we knew something was in the pipeline, but we haven't spoke to him yet. Um, I'm sure when he returns from Japan, he will come and see the boys. He's um, we've grown very close, and you know we know the boundaries. He's he's a head coach, but we, there was always a boundary. But we've become very close as a team. Um, I don't think the Mariners would be what it is without him. You know what we have here, the training facility, what we've done in the last three years. You know where the players have gone to play their football now. Um, Central Coast is on the world map. You know Arnie's now off to J League. We've got players in Switzerland, China, Belgium, uh, Scotland. You know I mean I don't think that would have been possible without a Graham Arnold at the Mariners. You say you knew something was in the pipeline because of the fact that he's spoken to Asian clubs before. Was it something that you felt was just always a matter of time before it happened? Yeah, he's an ambitious guy. You know he's like a player. He wants to. Uh, keep improving himself, keep testing himself. He's um, he's done wonders for the club here. You know, I'd, you won't find a player that speaks bad of him. He's uh, he's one of the one of the best coaches I've had. He's you know a, a great man. He worked us hard. He pushed us. He's um, probably pushed us to places that we haven't been before. Um, and I think he was the reason why we won the championship. But you know, he's now gone, and we need to move forward and and, and make sure that we don't lose sight on our goals this season. Phil Moss has been instrumental in set pieces with the Mariners. Uh, what do you think? Uh, how do you think he will approach it tactically with the side? First game being in Perth next week. Oh, obviously Moss is his own man, um, but you know the structures that Arnie set up, um, and Mossy being under Arnie for so long, uh, he'll probably tweak a little bit, but I can't see him tweak it too much. You know, we we know our structure. We know we have no option in defence. I know Mossy will uh, follow the same philosophy. The club um, wants to play its own way. So hopefully we can, um, you know, keep continuing what Arnie started and go from there. In terms of dis disruption, knowing that Arnie was was going to leave and now he has left, I guess the fact that you saw it coming makes it a bit easier. But how do you adjust overnight to to Mossy? I think having the week off has come at a great time. You know, I think um, you know when we chatted as a group with the boys uh, yesterday. You know, it gives us a chance to reflect on what Arnie's done for the club and for the players, and what he's done for us. And you know, and it's just a chance to go away, not watch the, not watch A League this week, but just reflect on what we've done. And we need to move forward and move forward fast because you know, we haven't really started it off that well this season. Five games, um, you know, we haven't played the football we want to play. We we lost a lot of players in the, the season, a lot of quality. Um, so we're still in a transition phase, and now losing. Our head coach. It's obviously going to take a few more weeks, but you know we we just need to be patient, and you know we we trust in Phil Moss. He's got the backing of all the players and the staff, so hopefully we can all move forward and start getting the performances we know we can. Sometimes a changing coach, a changing manager brings a success straight away. The first few games always seem to go quite well. Do you feel as though maybe it is a bit of a starting point again? The season can start after what you mentioned was a bit of a slow start. Yeah, hopefully. You know, you always want to. You know, we always go out trying to win football games. We don't, you know, mean to lose or get draws at home. It's, um, you know, Mossy states to the players that they're all on a clean slate now. Everyone starts over again. So, you know, it's pretty exciting. It's, um, you know, a fresh face around. You know, so we're just he's going to bring his own assistant coach. So we're looking forward to going forward. But you know, we need our season to start. You know, we can't keep. Saying that we, uh, we're building, we're building. We needed to start, and you know, Mossy's obviously going to get the boys uh, working nice and hard, like Arnie did, and hopefully we can um, go to Perth and get the right result next week.
Just a final question, mate. Uh, Mossy spoke about what an honour it is. Uh, you're a foundation player here, just three coaches in the history of this club, and uh, he's honoured to have that role. Yeah, that's why we talk about, you know, the, the um, what the club's about. You know, we haven't really had many chairmen. I think we had one or two chairmen in the time that I've been here. Uh, Mossy's obviously the third coach. Um, we don't really turn over like players like other clubs do. We kind of stick to what we know. We've got a a very good culture. It's um, been built up since season one when Laurie McKenna were here and Noel Spencer and Wayne O'Sullivan built the culture to start with. Uh, myself and Alex Wilkinson took it over when they left um, and Arnie came here and built built what he built, you know, it's, it's been unbelievable. The, the three years Arnie was here has been the best three years of, of uh, the Mariners, you know, that they put on, you know, 50 points for three years, um, the league title, the championship, the, eluded us a few times, a few too many times, so it's, uh, it's been great.